Hi, this is Bernard Sata Collins, original Abyssinian. A very pleasant good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome once again to big stone television today the series continues the series of we honoring our icon those who have passed on before us and those who are still here with us today today ladies and gentlemen i'm proud to present one of my all-time favorite max romeo Oh, let the power fall on I, for I, let the power fall on I. Oh, let the power from Zion fall on I, let the power fall on I. Oh, give I wisdom, peace and love for I. Give I wisdom, peace and love. How long will the wicked reign for I? Give I wisdom, peace and love. Born Maxwell Livington Smith on the 22nd of November, 1944. Max Romeo is a Jamaican reggae and roots reggae recording musician who has achieved chart success in his own country and in the United Kingdom. He had several hits with the vocal group The Emotions. His song Wet Dream in 1968 included overtly sexual lyrics and launched a new style of reggae. Born in St. Diego, St. Anne, Jamaica, Romeo left home at the age of 14 and worked on a sugar plantation outside Clarendon before winning a local talent competition when he was 18. This prompted a move to the capital, Kingston, in order to embark on a musical career. In 1965, Romeo joined up with Kenneth Knight and Lloyd Shakespeare's In the Emotion, whilst also working in sales at the Carlton label. The group were unsuccessful in addition for other producers, but Ken Lack offered them an addition after overhearing Smith singing to himself while working. In 1966, the group had their first hit with the Lack produced Buy You a Rainbow. The Emotions went on to release several hit singles and by 1968, the singer, by that point known as Max Romeo, began his solo career in 1968, but did not have any great successes on the charts. Romeo returned to The Emotions, now recording for Phil Pratt and founding a new band, The Hippie Boys. In 1968 saw the breakthrough in Romeo's career when he wrote Wet Dream, a song that became a massive hit in Jamaica. The track was banned by the BBC radio in the UK due to its overtly sexual lyrics, although the singer claimed that it was about a leaking roof. Nevertheless, 
Wet Dream became a top 10 hit in the UK, where it spent six months in the chart. Further records that came out in 1969 were Belly Woman, Wine Er Goosey, and Miniskirt Vision, as well as Max Romeo's debut LP, A Dream. Romeo was banned for performing at several venues during a tour of the UK. In 1970, Romeo returned to Jamaica, setting up Romax, an unsuccessful record label and sound system, and released in 1971 his second album, Let the Power Fall. It included a number of politically charged songs most advocating the Democratic Socialist People's National Party, which chooses song Let the Power Fall as their theme song for the 1972 Jamaican general election. After this, Romeo worked with producer Lee Scratch Perry and the album Revelation Time 1975, which featured the classic song Three Blind Mice, an adaptation of the nursery rhyme which lyrics about a police raid on a party. In 1976, Romeo released War in a Babylon, an album perceived as his best work. The political and religious theme album included the popular single Chase the Devil, which would become one of the most known songs. Shortly after this, the pair fell out, leaving Romeo to self-produce his follow-up album Reconstruction, which, however, could not match the success of its predecessor when it was released in 1977. In 1978, Romeo moved to New York City, where we co-wrote with here producer Michael Butler the musical reggae, which he also starred in. In 1980, he appeared as a backing vocalist on dance on the Rolling Stone album emotional rescue. In 1981, the favor was returned when Keith Richards of the Rolling Stone co-produced and played on Romeo's album, Holding Out My Love to You, an unsuccessful attempt to break into the North American market. The rest of his output during the decades went practically unnoticed, with Romeo finding work at a New York electronic store. John Old encouraged him to return to Jamaica and he lived at Old's house in Motherbrook for a year. Romeo visited the UK again in 1992, recording albums Far Eye, Captain of My Ship, 1992, and Our Rights, 1995, with Ja Shaka. He joined up with UK Rhythm Section production team Mafia and Floxy in 1998 for the album Selassie I Forever, a compilation album. The Many Moods of Max Romeo was released in the UK in 1999. In 2014, he released the album Father and Sons, a collaboration with his son Ronaldo and Romario, known as the duo Ramanel. His daughter, Azana Smith, has also started a recording career under the name Zena Romeo. Now, Max Romeo did a number of albums. Albums like A Dream in 1969, Let the Power Fall in 1971, Revelation Time in 1975, War in a Babylon in 1976, Reconstruction 1977, Rondas 1980, Holding Out My Love to You 1981, I Love My Music 1982, 1984, Max Romeo meets Owen Gray at King Tubby's studio. 1984, Freedom Street. 1985, One Horse Race. 1989, Transition. 1992, Far Right, Captain of My Ship. 1993, On the Beach. 1994, The Cross or the Gun. 1995, Our Rights. 1998, Selassie I Forever. 1999, Love Message. 1999, Something is Wrong, 2001, In This Time, 2004, A Little Time for Ja, 2005, Crazy World of Dub, 2006, Max Romeo Sings, It's a Bob Marley, 
2007, Pokemania songs. 2014, Father and Son. 2016, Arizona. 2019, Words from the Brave. 2020, Revelation Time. The General, the Icon, the Legend, Max Romeo. What a prolific career. Over the years, Max Romeo was able to sustain himself and to sing hits after hits and to produce beautiful albums after albums. I'm so emotionally charged, ladies and gentlemen, to know that we still have living today a gem, a caliber of the likes of a Max Romeo. Max Romeo, sir, I just want to say thank you wherever you are living today. I just want to say you're one of my first idol, one of my first singer that I really love your beautiful voice and your melodies. Thank you so much, Max Romeo. Thank you so much, sir, for giving us big, beautiful songs. But you know, my all-time favorite Max Romeo is Let the Power Fall and I. I remember as a young boy in 1972 when Michael Mandy used this song as a theme song for the People's National Party. And every way you go, it was Let the power fall on I for I. Let the power fall on I. Oh, let the power from Zion fall on I. Let the power fall on I thank you Max Romeo thank you sir for a job well done ladies and gentlemen there you have it the legendary the icon the living Max Romeo he came he saw and Max Romeo is still alive and kicking and still conquering please like and share this video and make your comment in the comment section below. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, now is the time for you to do so. Thank you so much for watching.